Hi there, in this video I want to show you how to select uh, the information, the data in your um, Excel spreadsheet in order to achieve um, this type of chart. So when it comes to charting, the selection really is the key to pretty much everything. So um, you can see up here what I want is the second quarter sales. So I want the information from April April, May, and June. We don't want to include any of the totals in our selection because that will throw the numbers completely off. So when you're, you know, again, selecting your in your chart, you, you want to, you know, really pay, pay close attention to what you're selecting. Now, um, I definitely want to include um, the um, titles, the row titles. So if I select like this, Notice I don't have my April, May, and June information selected. So if I go to insert and a column chart, I'm going to do a 2D column. So look what happens here is I do get my bars and I get exercise bike elliptical. So I get the row um, heading information, but notice here it says series one, two, and three. So I wasn't able to pick up April, May, and June, which I definitely want in my chart. So let's go ahead, we'll delete this. With my chart selected, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on delete, so that'll take that out. Now, in order to pick up this information, I do have to start in this column, um, this cell right here, which is A3. Now it seems kind of weird because that cell is completely blank, but Excel understands that and it doesn't do anything with this particular cell. So now I have the row heading selected, the column heading selected, and the data for these columns. I've left out the total. So let's try this one more time. We'll go back to insert and then our column. I'll do a 2D column. Now that looks better. So I have exercise bikes, so I have these headings, and I have my April, May, and June. Now you can see over here, I'll just click um, outside so you can see here. <clears throat> on this one I actually have, um, we've switched the information so that this is showing everything for April. So I have my exercise bike for April, here's the elliptical, here's the treadmill, and here's the rowing machines. So the chart is always telling a story and you can choose how you want it to tell that story. So in this case I'm going to switch the information, the row and column information in my chart. So once again I'm going to go ahead and, and select it. Then I'll go back over here under um, chart design and you can see in the data group I have this option to switch row and column. So it swaps the data. So let's go ahead and click on that and there you go. So it's it's just as easy as that. So it is nice to be able to play with that to see does this tell the story uh, more efficiently than the way it was before. Um, then they can have, then you can um, also change the column colors and all sorts of things, but I just wanted to go over basically making sure that you make your um, selection, you have all the information in your selection before you insert the chart and then how you can make changes to the chart by simply switching the row and the column. Okay, so I think that's it for now. Take care.